Hello and welcome to Granny Tofu Plays Minecraft. This video is to show you how to install or update the Yog Box and put in the mods Too Many Items, Optifine, Single Player Commands, and Spawner GUI. So this is the Yogscast website. So this is the thread Yog Box, a carefully chosen compilation of good mods, which is nice and catchy. So let me just explain something about Minecraft so you can see the beauty of the Yog Box. Minecraft comes with all the good stuff in a closed Java jar and to insert mods you have to basically open the jar however with Yogbox the Yogbox is self-installing so it opens the jar puts in its mods and then closes the jar and leaves here are the instructions which are right on the page Be start with an untouched Minecraft jar let's just highlight that an untouched Minecraft jar that means a closed Minecraft jar and clear out your mods folder. Now, I do more than that because I just like to be safe. Also recommended is the Optifine mod, which we're going to install. The next thing to do is essentially clean out your Minecraft. Now, how do you get to your Minecraft folder? On Windows and Mac, it's slightly different, but once you get to the Minecraft folder, it's the same procedure. So in Mac you go to library application support Minecraft and here on Windows you go to your run menu because on Windows for some reason it's a hidden file you go to run you put in percentage sign app data percentage sign click OK and there's Minecraft right there now I've already installed things so you can see it's kind of a mess or maybe you don't know but that's a little bit messy your texture packs are in here. I want to save them. These are the two Yogbox texture packs. I'll get them again when I install. But Chickens Quad Chickens is my own texture pack, which I customized um, over many attempts at the Painterly pack. So I want to save that, so I move it to my desktop. I don't care about my stats. They're not for me. Then these are two worlds I want to save. Architecture Lewis, which is an adventure world I'm working on, and Water World, which is a Tykin. T-Y-K-E-N test world. Everything else I don't care about. I just go to Minecraft and I delete the whole thing. Or if I was on a Mac I would send it to trash. My launcher is still here so I go to... there's two ways to do it. One is you can go to Minecraft and download it again which I don't need to do. Or I can just log in again. So I'll hit Looney. Linda. Linda's my real name. I call myself Granny Tofu because I'm in love with Simon. However, unlike I'm the same age as Granny Bacon, or probably a lot older, but I do not have the flavor, the juicy fat of Granny Bacon. I am anemic, white, and rubbery. It's sad, really. Let's face it, if you have a choice between bacon and tofu, you take the bacon. Now, not that I know Simon or Granny Bacon. Okay, so I have Minecraft here. just to show you we go to the start menu how to put in a texture pack you hit run go back you see I'm going there all the time I don't know why they bothered to hide it now texture packs are a zip and they go in the texture pack area as a zip boom done I do the 16 by 16 packs you have to be careful that you have the right size pack otherwise it won't show now the saves I want to put my architecture Lewis back in here and their folders and I want to put in my water world back in. Alright, now I have the Yog Box. I think this is the right Yog Box. Let's see. Yes. Mm, yeah, see. Thank God they stopped doing beta so they wouldn't have a new install, a new update every day. Box. Now here's the key thing. This is a zip file or a RAR file. I don't care which one. Now I can click on that and look inside it because I've got WinRAR and there's my Yog Box installer jar. But I can't click on it now or I'll get the wrong answer. Look what happens. I click on it now. Oh, and it gives me an installer error. I cannot install it from the zip file. I have to extract to a folder. So I've got my Yogbox and I have my Yogbox folder. Going to the Yogbox folder, I look inside and I click on the installer. I'm just going to go for custom install. There are a number of choices. I don't like more health. I like to die as the god of Minecraft intended. And I definitely want the core mods because that includes the mod loader 
and the um, and the associated programs, which is definitely what I want. So this is how simple it is. Notice that they're installing them in the order I chose them, which is kind of weird. Done. You always want to test your mods after each install. Um, so install them one at a time, not all at once, trust me, and then check them so that you can pinpoint if you're making an installation error or if they're not working. But just do them one at a time, test after each one. It takes time, but in the end, it's worth it. And we're in. And you can see it says Yogbox Minecraft, so you know you're in. You don't actually have to go any further. So the Yogbox is a self-installing mod. It opens the jar, puts its stuff in, shuts the jar. The other ones you have to open the jar manually. So let's go to the jar, the Minecraft jar. This is our Minecraft jar. On Mac, it'll have a big coffee cup there. Here's how you open it. Right click. You can choose what you want to open it with. I'm going to open it with Rinrar Archiver. You can use the Unarchiver on Mac. That works really well. And just extract to the same place. Now you have a Minecraft folder. You take your Minecraft jar, which is still closed, and you pick it up and you throw it in your recycle bin. And it's gone. You go to your Minecraft folder and you rename it Minecraft dot jar. Now your Minecraft jar is open. Okay. Now if you were opening the Minecraft jar yourself without the yog box, you'd have something in here called meta INF. M E T A I N F I N F. You'd have to delete that. But the yog box deletes it for you, which is lovely because people always forget. So that's your Minecraft.jar. Now it's open. Now let's go back to the mods. The first one I'm going to put in is the Optifine. It's recommended by the people and I found it also has a smoothing effect. So I go down top to bottom, holding shift, I copy the entire contents. Then I go back to Minecraft and I paste them all in. And I copy and replace everything. This is possible because these are all class files. Class files with the ending class go into the Minecraft jar. There's nothing but class files in here so it's a very simple install. Not too many items is an inventory editor. <laughs> Let me just show you life without inventory without an inventory editor. I hit E here. I've only got the things I personally have collected. Too many items is an inventory editor. It'll give you anything you want. Now, too many items. These are all class files. Again, very easy to install. Start at the top. Hit Shift. Go to the bottom. Right click. Copy. paste. Just replace everything. Copy and replace everything. Don't think about it. Just do it. Testing. And if I left click, I'll get 64 of the item, which I can throw in the trash. And if I right click, I'll get one of the item. These are all things that are modded. If you save these in your chest, and then put your world into a vanilla world. If you click on your chest, you will hit get saving chunks error. And if you try and chop up your chest, um, then you will um, destroy your world. So if you plan to use your world in um, a non-modded environment, don't save anything um, that has, is a modded item, which can sometimes be very hard to keep track of. All right, so too many items is in. We're happy people. Spawner GUI and single player commands are slightly more different, slightly different installs. Let's do single player commands. This is the one that lets you fly and build with world edit commands. There's readme text. 
delete it without reading. In fact, you are not allowed to read readme texts. That just doesn't happen. Now, I'm going to open my file in parallel so you can see what's going on here. <coughs> all right. You'll notice that these are all class files in the single player commands except for world edit, which is a jar file. World edit goes into the bin. So I am going to copy world edit and paste it into the bin. And then I open it and I see my world edit here where there's jars. World edit is a jar, it goes with the other jars in the bin. Now just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take world edit out and put it on my desktop. Now all I have left are class files in here. So I am going to copy all my class files and they go to not the bin but the Minecraft jar and I paste. And I copy and replace everything. And that is done. This line means you've got single player commands. Congratulations. And finally, we have the spawner GUI. Now, the spawner is for people who um, want to put spawners down. Now, this is a Rizugami mod. I've opened it already. And it relies on having mod loader. But of course, mod loader is already in the odd box, so we're all good. Now you can see this has got class files and then also a GUI file. So this is a slightly different install. First of all, we copy the class files and we just stick them in the jar. No big deal. And you can see that there is a GUI folder here and a GUI folder in the spawner GUI. I open my GUI folder. A GUI is just a graphic interface. So here you've got, if you open your craft your container, that's what's inside a container. Looks like a double container maybe. And this is your crafting table, and this is your furnace. And I don't know what that is, a trap. Hmm, interesting. Um, you, I'm building an adventure world, and unfortunately I have to build an adventure world that people can play in default, vanilla Minecraft, so I can't use some of the stuff that's in this mod container, which I would really like to do. And again, to test, and I'm flying around because I'm a crazy woman. So I don't have to build a spawner, which I don't even think you can. I just get it from my inventory editor and I'm going to place these around to cause trouble for people in my adventure map. So I, whoops, I don't put down a block of sand. Now, even though you, okay, there. Now the default is a pig. Then you click on here. Here's your GUI that you just installed in the GUI file. And it's got every single mob that the mobile, that the program has. So you could do it, Mr. Astley, a big cat, a boar, your classic cow. So it's default set on pig. And you can use this to change it. Um, now even though you change it, let's say I put in a squid here. I see it's, oh shoes, look what I did to those poor squid. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they wouldn't spawn. And so they spawn to their death. That is sad. Putting them out of their misery. That was just pure mis... Okay, i got to stop with this. They're already dead. Okay. Um, I'm not going near the bunnies because I had bunny issues. Um, kitty bed. Why would I do that? Why would I spawn a kitty bed? Okay, so let's assume I put in skeletons. Okay, now let's go to... And what am I holding? I'm holding nothing, right? I'm holding a... Alright. Okay, we're normal. Quick, pick up my... Okay. Maybe there's too much light. Ah! Okay. Alright. Good. It's working. Why isn't it visible? Where the hell is he? Oh, I'm dead already. Great. Okay, so there you have it. They're all installed, and thank you very much for watching.